Oh, I forgot to say Uno! Hello and welcome. My name is Mark, this is Riffle Shuffle and Roll, and today I'm going to teach you a little game called Mau Mau. If it's your first time visiting the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and the bell so you're notified about new games every week. Now, Mau Mau is a hand shedding game for two to six players. It uses a small 32 card deck, and much like Crazy Eights, there are some power cards within the deck as well that are gonna allow players to make their opponents draw two, uh, skip their opponents, or even reverse the order of play. Now, what differentiates this from Crazy Eights is the deck. It is a 32 card deck, which is uh, much more prevalent in games over in Germany. This is a pretty great game, and I'm always looking for more hand shedders. I prefer Uno, obviously, but if I have just a, a regular deck of cards and I wanna try something different than Crazy Eights, I'm gonna play some Mau Mau. With all that said, let's go to the table and learn how to play. In order to play Mau Mau, you will need a standard 52 card deck, and if you're gonna play more than one round, you will need a way to keep score. Mau Mau typically uses a 32 card deck. You will have rank seven through ace in each suit. To set up for the game, deal each player five cards and place the rest of the deck in the center of the playing space. Flip the top card over to begin the discard pile. So the game begins with the player sitting left of the dealer. We're gonna play that the dealer is here at the bottom of the screen. Now players are trying to get rid of all the cards from their hands. And to do that, they're allowed to match the suit or the rank of the top card of the discard pile. Now there are some cards with special powers and we're gonna talk about each one. First is the Jack. Jacks are wild and when a player plays them, they can choose any suit for the next player to have to match. So player one plays their Jack of Clubs. It's wild, it can be played on the King of Hearts. Then they're gonna say diamonds must be played. Play passes left. Now the player here at the top of the screen, player two, they're gonna play their seven of diamonds. Sevens are draw twos. So they play their seven of diamonds and the next player would have to draw two cards and end their turn. However, in this game, draw twos can be stacked. So instead of drawing two, this player is going to play a seven of hearts. Now the next player must draw four. Of course, if they had a seven, they could play it too and just keep on stacking. So now this player draws four cards and ends their turn. When a player has to draw cards as a penalty, they cannot play one of the cards if it works. They simply draw and pass. Here we are back to player one. They are gonna play their eight of hearts. Now in this game, eights are skips. They play their eight of hearts. We skip the next player and now it is player three's turn. They can play either a heart or an eight. So they play their ace of hearts and play passes. There is one more card with a special ability. So we fast forward a little bit. It is player two's turn and they have the opportunity to play a nine of diamonds. So the nines are reverses. When a nine is played, turn order changes the opposite direction. So instead of player three going, it actually returns back to player one. If another nine is played, then the direction changes once more. Those are the basics of the game. Sevens, eights, nines, and jacks all have special powers. Now, when a player gets to their last card on their turn, they must say Mao. If the player fails to say Mao and someone else catches them and says it first, they are penalized with a two card draw from the draw pile. If a player's final card is a jack, they must say Mau Mau. If they fail to do so and they are caught at the end of the game, they do not win. Instead, they will have to draw two cards as a penalty. When a player plays their final card, the round is over and that player wins. They will earn points based on the cards remaining in their opponent's hands. Let's go ahead and see how to keep score. 
Numbered cards are worth the value of the number on the card. Queens, kings, and aces are all worth 10 points each, and jacks are worth 20 points. Again, the player who emptied their hand first earns the points for the round. After the points have been tallied, collect the cards, deal passes left, and continue to play rounds until one player reaches 150 points or more. That player is the winner. All right, that is how to play Mau Mau. It's a pretty simple game. Like I said, if you're familiar with Crazy Eights, then you're gonna be able to adjust to Mau Mau right away. It's interesting because it has that 32 card deck, changes things up just enough to where it feels fresh. And I think it's a nice change of pace from Crazy Eights. There are, of course, alternate ways to play, just like with Crazy Eights or with Uno, there are different rules. More cards have powers, and you can even play with the full deck. But I think it's that 32 card deck that makes Mau Mau special. All right, well, that's it for now. Check the description down below for a link to riffleshuffleandroll.com and gamerules.com. Game Rules has a huge library of games that's easy to search. You can look for certain types of games or certain player count and find something new to play. They cover traditional games and new games off the store shelf. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep on playing.